these houses are. On a scale of 1 to 10, sorry, you're drinking iced tea. How much do you want to move to Columbus? 7. Yeah, I think I'm at a 7 too. Yeah. Shoot, <clears throat> man. <laughs> I love Columbus. That's so cool. Like, these houses are so cute. They're pretty... It's, well, I guess people who listen are from all over, so like your idea of expensive housing differs based on right. where you live, Right. but this is like, living in Columbus is about the cost of like Orlando, and to us that's expensive, because Cleveland is just so inexpensive. Yeah. So. And surrounding areas of Cleveland. Yeah. But look at this one's for rent. I actually saw it on Zillow because I did look, I did look it up. <laughs> Meg was like, so like, how, how serious would you be like thinking about it? And I was like, oh, I looked up apartments the other day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, mm. we just want to live everywhere because there's so many places we love. Mm -hmm. Our heart is in so many places. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Oops. Now we are going to try and find a place that Katie would like coffee from. I have one in mind though, so I'm going to get directions. coffee at the second place we just got food yes but um I mean like the coffee in Columbus is legit it's good coffee so good like properly brewed just each shop has such a personality too yeah. some have food some don't some have pastries some don't this one had vegan pastries but yeah. we were stuffed already from the food that we ate yeah. before but so I think Super we mentioned good. that we were going to do a coffee tour we didn't do the coffee tour, we just did our own little mini one. We just like picked places on the list and went to them. So yeah. like all the places we went to were on that coffee tour list. Yeah. But it's like a list of 17, I think. Yeah. But they so have we'll a cool have thing back. where you can kind of like, re I'm sorry, we can kind of like register and if you go to four, you get a t-shirt. If you go to four, you get a t-shirt and if you go to all of them, you then get a tumbler. One day coffee challenge. Yeah. I wonder if it could be spread out over two days. I would hope because I can't drink that much caffeine. <laughs> like Unless they just give you samples, that'd be different. But then is it just black coffee? Like, I don't want that. Most of them is like espresso drinks. Yeah. Yummy. But now, Ikea! Ikea! Oh yeah! Pride flag. Yeah. Ohio, America, and pride. That's all you need. Tomato 
pickle, I think. It's an Eden sauce, which I don't even know what that is. Fried pickles, and then vegan mozzarella sticks. On a scale of one to 8,000, how excited are you? Really excited. Try it. Tell me how authentic. It's pretty good. Is it? Yeah. I mean, it's the cheese taste, but like with the combination of it being fried with the marinara sauce and everything. Pretty good. Yeah. Thanks for getting us holders. <laughs> It's a cookie dough shake. <laughs> it tastes familiar. There's coconut in it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's good. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Uh, so we just left Eden Burger and what is really awesome about Eden Burger is literally everything on the menu is vegan. They had fries, mozzarella sticks, pickle chips, three or four different burgers, two different fried tempeh burgers which is supposed to kind of like mimic fried chicken. Um, they had like bacon on the burgers and vegan ranches and dipping sauces. It was amazing. It was super good. I would say that it's probably a little pricey compared. I mean, okay, here's the thing. I would compare it in price to like Five Guys. Um, but the nice thing about it is that like they make it when you order it. It's not like it's called vegan fast food, but like. It's more like Five Guys fast food than regular, like McDonald's fast food, you know what I mean? Yeah, and like, they're not just frying, like we ordered the Eden Burger, which is a veggie patty with toppings or whatever, and it's not just um, a Morningstar patty thrown on a bun. Yeah, like no, they, like they it. house make it. It's their own recipe. And it's not meant to mimic the taste of meat, like it's just a veggie patty, but it was really good. It was excellent. Yeah. I would highly recommend it, and I would go back. Yeah, Definitely. I, I already, like, I could eat every burger on that menu slash chicken sandwich. All of them sounded so good. Yeah, they did. And we got, and they had vegan shakes and vegan donuts. Oh, yeah, vegan milkshakes. We got one. Cookie dough. And the cookie dough is yummy. I do but, think the Jenny's ice cream we had last night, ice cream, was better. Yes, agreed. Because I like a harder did ice cream. Did we even vlog that? Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. okay. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty late at that point. But, uh, like, I like harder ice cream than a softer ice cream. And yes, the same. Vegan ice cream melts melt quicker. very fast. So when it's already, like, nice and hard, it doesn't, it has longer before it's, like, a pile of mush. But this is already a shake, so you're already stirring it all up and making it melt immediately. Yeah. <clears throat> but it was still delicious. We didn't vlog much at Ikea, either. Uh, we were just enjoying, enjoying it together. But yeah, I told We got Mary, a bunch of stuff, and I shall show you. Maybe we'll do a haul. Ikea haul video? What? what? <laughs> Driving along in my automobile. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. What is that? <laughs> it's a song. From what? It's an old song. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. <laughs> I can't remember the last time we vlogged today. In the car. <laughs> yes, we made it home. I was gonna say one more home, two. Oh no! <laughs> the Warriors won. Three. We are posting every day on our Instagram for Pride, so make sure that you check out our Instagram channel, which is the Petrus Family, and you can see our message every day. Mm -hmm. 
but I'm exhausted and we're not gonna drag this out too long. So thanks for following along on today's adventure. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow.